everyone. Uh, Matt Hoots here with Rated Green, and I've got Jody here with Subject to Change. Um, amazing content creator. She's got a YouTube channel and a blog with uh, hundreds of posts. I actually went through quite a few of those, enjoyed reading those uh, on various topics regarding sustainability and also just thoughts that she has in general about life, living, and what we should be doing. So, Jody, can you explain to our audience a little bit about what your channel and your blog is all about and what you're trying to achieve with those? Yes, I'd love to. Subject to Change is a brainchild of myself and Lauren Stanick. And what we're doing is we're functioning as co-interviewers to reach out and find out um, about different people outside of the green building industry and inside of the green building industry to talk about sustainability. Because we have come to realize that sustainability is about much more than swapping out your tech or working on energy efficiency. It's about community. It's about how you learn. It's about how you uh, raise your kids. It's about all of it. It's about health. So we want to learn and we thought that while we were learning we would create it in a format that we could share so subject to change is the youtube site which is very exciting and we are producing videos about 15 to 30 minutes long but then also short little bites called two minutes to change so that you can have quick access to great information about everyone and everything they're doing I'm kind of jealous that two minutes to change is something that um, I wish I would have thought of because we're having some editing issues where ours are over 30 minutes long and it's like, it'd be nice to have like a little snippet. So I might might have to come up with something similar. Maybe I'll do five minutes for sustainability or something. I think in a, in a um, fast world, ours. you know, you've got the options there. And, and I think even if you learn in little tiny pieces, you're learning and growing and connecting and that's what it's all about. Well, the sad thing is, uh, even two minutes if we're competing with the TikTok oh, video, God, which is what, 30 seconds. <laughs> so that's something completely different. It's like, I don't know, TikTok for, I don't know. We'll come up with something later for that. So what's what's the best way for our members to find your content? I'm, I've got links in the description, sure. um, but what, what is what is your URL for your blog? Well, I can tell you that if you Google subject to change with the number two in the middle and then dash sustainability, you will find our site right off the bat. And Matt, I took that end little interview from you and I'm really glad that you gave us a chance to talk and produce some content for our sites while promoting the good information and the cel and celebrating the successes that everyone has along the way. Oh, absolutely. And I do want to point out one thing. I mean, I've been a green builder for over 20 years and a lot has changed in the last 20 years. And I, I have to mm -hmm. say that like even in 2020, some of the discussions that we're just now having, um, green building uh, as a whole is still in its infancy. So for us to sit back and rest in our large and say, hey, we've got this figured out. And like, there's certain things we figured out, certain laws of physics aren't gonna change. And um, I mean, some of the, the building techniques that we're using now that are adopted by some of the, the top high performance builders probably weren't uh, like one of them, like when you look at the perfect wall concept, wasn't really even discussed until 2010. That's 10 years ago. And now, now people are adopting it. So we're, we're constantly looking at better ways of building, living, and um, working with each other. And the only way for these ideas to be better developed is on platforms like the two of you have created and have those active discussions and sharing the content with each other. And right. I think that's one thing that the green community um, has done over the years and is a pretty tight knit community because I've, I've seen you both at conferences and you guys, uh, uh, at these conferences are very engaged in the discussions. And it's it's nice seeing that that community that has grown and blossomed over the years. And I think with your voices and your platforms is just to continue, like Allison said, to amplify that, share the information, but also document it. And by putting it in writing, right. creating the videos, um, it's great to have these conferences and we'll have these breakout sessions. And it's like, okay, if you weren't one of the 15 people in that room, that information, that knowledge could be lost, unfortunately. So we have to document this. And we have to make sure that we are sharing this and um, and looking back on it to see how we've where we started and how we're going to continue to grow. 
that's one of my biggest worries when I hear fantastic information. Sometimes I'm glad you said that, Matt, is it's, it's, it's within these walls, it's within this room. How do we get that information to as many people and organizations as possible? Yeah. It's, too, it's too valuable not to share. Right, and a lot of people well, it, post it, things on websites just thinking that that means they're communicating. Well, I'm sorry, websites no. and, and YouTube pages, it's, it goes there to die unless you reach out and share it actively. So this is a good reminder to me to, to be doing that. I don't know how many times I've taken one of the blogs that I've written over the years and used it to reinforce a point that was part of a meeting or that was part of a discussion that was totally unrelated to why I wrote the blog post. But what that does then again is is reinforce and amplify the information. And then, then, then things stick with people when they hear it from several different sources. So having this connection too between Rate It Green and Subject to Change is gonna help things stick because when there's a, a maybe, maybe on our, on our channel, there's a, a general statement or a, something that introduces curiosity, it would be very easy to point to the technical information or deeper dive that might be on your site. So that could be really exciting. 